Hey guys, for cheap games and great deals, check out G2A.com, link down below. Yo, what's up guys, before the video starts, as you guys may know, I recently got my channel revamped by my friend Ankix Arts. Now guys, if you check out his channel, he has multiple channel arts for other YouTubers that look pretty cool and high quality. Now, if you want a banner made by him, all you have to do is subscribe to his channel and send him a message about it because he is charging people with less than 1,000 subs. But if you do have more than 1,000, you will have to organize an agreement with him. With that said, be sure to subscribe to his channel and let's get on with the video. Hey, what's up my fellow prodigies? Prodig here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make nice clean thumbnails for your gaming videos for YouTube if you want to improve on how to make your thumbnails or you have no knowledge about them at all. Now, I will mention that I do have a thumbnail template on my channel that I made for 1,000 subscribers, which any of you guys are able to download that if you want to. Now, I will mention that all my thumbnails are made in Photoshop CS6, so I do suggest that you get that if you want to follow me in this tutorial. So also, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to get Photoshop for free, be sure to drop a like on the video and comment it down below. Now getting into this, I will be teaching you guys how to make thumbnails like mine. As you can see right here, all my thumbnails have a similar look to them from the orange text to the blurred out background, making them look more professional and clean so people would most likely click on my videos. Now to start this off, you want to click on file, then click new, then right here you just want to copy down my settings making the width and height 1920 by 1080 and if you guys want, you can save this as a preset so you don't have to type in these settings every time you go and make a thumbnail. Now for all my thumbnails, I like to start off with my background, so what you want to do is go over to File, then click Place, then you want to find a picture that you want to use for your background, which I like to use the maps on Black Ops 3 as my background, or some cinematic pics of the map. Now guys, be sure to only use pictures that are 1920 by 1080 dimension, so you get that good quality. Now once you place your picture by clicking Enter, you want to use Move Tool to resize the picture. Now right here is really important, if you want to resize anything in Photoshop, you have to hold the shift button while dragging the picture to the size that you want it to be. Now once you resize the picture, you want to be sure that the layer is selected, click on filter, go to blur, then click on Gaussian blur. Now right here is your preference of how much blur you want as your background, but I like to use 37 for my blur because I like it that way. Now next up is our picture that we want to use for our thumbnail. So just head up the file, then place, then find a picture that you want to use for your thumbnail. But right here, I wanted to use a hero armor picture, but I wanted the man to be cut out. So if you want something to cut out from an image, just click file, then open, then choose the picture they will be cutting out. Now the easiest way to cut things out of Photoshop is the free selection tool. Now using this tool, you just want to hold left click on your image, then keep going over it until it's covered up. Now if your selection gets on something that you don't like, just hold alt and keep dragging over it. Once the object is fully selected, you just want to right click, then click select inverse, then click delete. Now as you can see right here, we get the cutout image, but there are other ways for you guys to cut out images like me. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over this one method because I just want to keep this video short. And besides, there are other videos out there that can teach you how to just do that. Once you get your cutout image done, you just want to right click it, then select duplicate layer, and change the document to the one with your thumbnail. And then when you get your image, you can resize it by holding shift and dragging it. Now next up is the text. Now you want to get your text on your thumbnail, just click the type tool, then click where you want to type, and type out the title of your thumbnail. And the font that I'm using is the Call of Duty font, which will be linked down below. Now once you got in all the text that you want, you just want to right click on the layer, click blending options, and you want to make your text pop, so if I were you, go to gradient overlay and make a yellow to orange gradient like the one I have now. Then as you can see right here, the text, it looks kind of bland, so you want to add a stroke to it. Now I will remind all you guys that this is really all about your preference about how you want your text to be, because as we, as we speed up in the video, I just add gradients to my other text, and I give my text a drop shadow, and then my middle text has a go outer glow. So if you guys think about it, there are many ways for you to make your text stick out. And if you guys didn't know, you guys can go to blending options on your images as well. As you can see right here, I add an outer glow and an inner glow to my picture, making it have the effect that is glowing in a way. Now if you want to do Call of Duty videos and you want to use a PNG of a gun, if you head over to my 1000 sub template, I have all the Black Ops 3 weapons in the file, so be sure to go check that out. Now remember guys, hold shift while resizing things and make sure your thumbnails have HD pictures, so it looks nice. And as we near the end of the video, I just want to say sorry for not uploading my usual 2-4 to four days in between each video because 
If you follow me on Twitter, you would know that my Wi-Fi cut off and I had to wait for it to be turned back on. So if you want to interact with me even more, just go follow me on Twitter and you'll get updates about what I'm doing. And I guess that's it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, drop a like if you guys can. Comment down below if you want me to do a tutorial on how to get Photoshop CS6 for free because I know a lot of people are not going to pay $500 for editing software. And also, if you guys can, go show support to my friend and Kicks Arts because he's the guy who made my awesome banner and logo for my channel. And also, don't forget that I'm starting on my own top 5 play series on Black Ops 3 where you guys can send me the best clips you got in the game. You guys can send me a trick shot, a 1v6 clutch, you name it. Just only make sure that it's not super long and send it to my Gmail, prodigy5plays at gmail.com. Subscribe for more content in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one.